New at six, a local artist using her talents to empower young black girls across Atlanta. This new mural over our shoulder unveiled on the Southside Beltline Trail over Ormwood Avenue doubles as a love letter to the women in her family. CBS 46's Sawyer Bussey has the story. Where does power lie? It's the three women that kind of watch over your lifeline and they cut it when you pass. Who dictates your story? And I feel like from my personal history as a black woman, I always felt like we didn't really have much control over what happened to us in our lives. Is someone watching over you? So I thought it would be fun to kind of play with that by making these huge, powerful beings, all black women that are watching over the destinies of all people. This is Drew Borders, the creator of this new Atlanta Beltline mural she calls the fates. I thought it would be nice for people to actually put their hands on top of the string and feel a connection to their own uh, life strings. Along the string are three women who watch out for her. Uh, so this one right here is actually myself when I was a little bit younger. Uh, and I'm locking eyes across the street with my sister. And on the top of the <laughs> mural itself, kind of watching over all of us is my mother. As she created this piece, she started learning more about her family line and the stories of her grandmothers. Kind of like my love letter to them. It's not just for them though. I thought it would be kind of nice to see myself and other people who look like me or other people with darker complexions represented in this mural. She says this piece is for black women, for young black girls who walk under this bridge and get to see themselves in this story. I see you, like you are represented, you matter. Drew says the neighbors here have been pushing for a mural for a while and have made her feel loved Thank and appreciated so while she brought this piece to life. I know that, you know, something like this, while it does not fix the problems that we have in our society and how we treat minorities or black women, um, I hope that it starts to open the debate. Sawyer Bussey, CBS 46 News.